what's going on everybody this is episode 780 of the first and frame rate show i am vf baller over here we talk about georgia southern and atlanta falcons football and not much on the georgia southern front man still waiting for the spring game we got boise state week one so we'll talk about that at a later time but nevertheless we're gonna talk some more atlanta falcons uh not much going on moving in that direction either but next week is free agency and uh necessarily it, it, it kind of started already you know john o. smith went to the dolphins you got a couple other players being franchise tagged but i'm pretty sure starting next week that's when things are going to happen that's going to be the beginning of the new uh season uh or the, the calendar season for the nfl and it's going to be on and popping so what do we expect out of that um i'm going to talk about a couple of positions outside of quarterback that that we're going to need to address um and, and i can't wait to get to talking about that so to close out this week we're going to jump on that so if this is your first time here welcome i can be found on youtube and rumble and also on spotify apple and google podcast if you want to watch the show the visual side of the show as i speak um, I am on Rumble. Go over there and subscribe or join me on Rumble. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of people are watching over there. I really, you know, I really appreciate that. More people are tending to watch over there than, you know, listen to the podcast on Spotify now. It's kind of weird because at one point it was it was the other way around. But now, like, since I've been putting on Rumble consistently, I've been getting a pretty good bit of views. So thank you guys. Um, join me over there. Also, um, if you want to just listen to the show, obviously it's on YouTube and, and, and Apple. Spotify also has the visual side of the show as well. Follow me on X at VF Baller. The website is firstandframerates.com. Um, if you want to support the show, you can support through Cash App or PayPal. The link's up below. Really would appreciate it. Um, somebody asked me to, 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 to use um, Instagram. And uh, I, I thought about it, but... I don't know, man. The whole thing with Facebook and Instagram, I'm, I'm kind of a lot of weary about that. Um, you know, Facebook went down earlier this week, and yeah, I don't know, man. But we, we'll see. We'll see. Let's get into this. Two positions throughout the beginning of free agent frenzy, what the Falcons need to address. Um, first and foremost, I can't see how they not address uh, the secondary. Um, I like Richie Grant. Richie Grant's cool. But you got a lot of safeties out here that are uh, ready to go. They, there's some, a lot of them being released. The, the, the Falcons could put that safety next to Jesse Bates. I mean, that will be absolutely awesome. Nothing against Richie Grant. Nothing against um, Helms. You know, I think those guys are hell of a players, especially Helms. I think he could be a starter if need be. But there's too many good safeties out here. You can put them on a one or two year deal and just have these guys go and just rotate the rest of the safeties out. I think that would be a great idea to do that. Uh, also, um, we do need another wide receiver. And I, I don't think we need one just to get through the draft. You know, I think we just need to get one through free agency as well. I don't know who's available in free agency as of yet. Um, there's a list. I don't have the list up right now because I wasn't planning on going through, like, names. I was just trying to go through positions. But I know for certain that uh, there's a lot of safeties. I don't know too much about receivers, but I heard Michael Thomas is being released by the New Orleans Saints. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, but nevertheless, we 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 need to figure out what we're going to do with the number two position at receiver. I would love to get another receiver here. I know Calvin Ridley's out there. I just did a video or I did an episode on him. A lot of people saying no thanks. I've seen a lot of people say, no, nah, I don't want him back. And um, I, I do get it. I mean, I'm not here, you know, like advocating for it, but I do understand why people will say no to that. But uh, we do need a number two receiver. We we definitely need one. Will we get one through the draft? Cool. Um, Another position that we need to get to uh, is edge, edge rusher. If, if you kind of see what's going on here, it's kind of like a running theme that the defense could be bolstered. The offense is pretty much in place outside of, like I said, a second receiver, maybe a tight end as well. But um, when you're looking at the situation with uh, the defense, edge rusher, we definitely need that. I don't know if Calias Campbell coming back. Even if he is, I would like to get somebody else over there. Maybe you re-sign Bud Dupree again to have another rotational guy to come in uh, along with Zach Harrison and Arnold Evan Kete. Uh, But I, I do want one guy to be a bona fide pass rusher. 
especially if this is going to be Kalias Campbell's last year, if he does come back, uh, I think this would be a great in, uh, situation for him to be in. Uh, I mean, to be honest, just to go off track a little bit, there's something booing with Atlanta. It, it's nothing like how we felt with, you know, Coach Smith was here. Not not Arthur Smith, but the other Coach Smith. Um, you know, even with Dan Quinn, we went to Super Bowl. We just, you know, you didn't. The, the Super Bowl run came out of kind of came out of like out of nowhere. Nobody really saw that, you know, happening, but it did. Um, even when you had Arthur Smith here, you you really didn't get that vibe like you're getting now. I think this vibe here is like different. Like this is, and I, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not gonna say it, but I'll just say it like this. This is top tier. This is a top tier coaching vibe that I'm getting here. Something about what Raheem Morris, Terry Fontenot, and the guys put together. This is some top tier assembling that they put together. So I would not be surprised if these guys do some good things. And I, I think with them re-signing Nate Landman, they re-sign Ryan Nuzzo, that's just the beginning. And they sign these guys on one-year deals or something like that. They're still trying to hold on to a little bit of money until they get some bigger names out there. I heard the Nail Hunter. Mm, excuse me. Heard the Nail Hunter uh, that could be out there. You know, Jamal Adams. I mean, you got a couple other safeties that are out there. Um, people are talking about re-signing Jeff Okuda. Um, as far as pass rusher, like I said, Daniel Hunter, you got a couple other guys out there as well. And this looks like this could happen. This could happen on a grand scale to where we we could be in for a treat to have an, an elite team. I mean, you know, with the with the run to the Super Bowl, the team just became elite, you know, just by going through, you know, week in and week out. But just coming out the gate, on point, young talent. You get a nice quarterback here, which I don't want to talk about quarterback in this episode. We talked about that enough. Oh my God. But when you talk about getting all these pieces together with the mindset that this coach has, I, I think this coach here, Coach Raheem Morris, has a way different mindset than Coach Arthur Smith. And I think this his mindset is more, I ain't gonna say player friendly, but it, it is more modern than what what we're uh, akin to. You know, a lot of stuff was a little bit old school. You know, you had uh, Arthur Smith. You saw his coaching habits. He was yelling at the players. And, and I'm not saying that it doesn't work, but you saw that that, that, that I don't think that's not going to be that type of mentality that Morris has. Raheem Morris is going to have more of a commanding role, but it's going to be more of a modern player coach type role. Because see, like every player that talks about Raheem Morris, they love him. And they will go to bat for him. They'll go tackle a guy. They'll run through a wall. They'll, you know, they'll knock down some, you know, I think I heard a, a video one day to knock some pine cones out of trees. You know, I mean, you, you, you're talking about some top tier, you know, uh, motivation here. And I think that's what we're getting with Raheem Morris. And when, with, the, with, the, with the free agency come in, you're going to see guys come in that's going to reflect what Raheem Morris wants, what he's learned from the last time he was a coach. It, it's just going to be a beautiful thing to see. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see, and I can't wait for it to happen. Uh, you got a lot of guys here that are motivated and ready to go. JD, uh, Grady Jarrett is going to be one of those guys. He's already ready to go, even that he's coming off of a torn ACL. It's going to be really cool to see him come in and work with you know Jimmy Lake and all these other guys, and then you turn around and let's say you bring one or two more defensive pieces, you know, and with Troy Anderson's coming back. You know, it you know, it is gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. And I, I'm all here for it. And I think that with the free agency, when that starts, you're you're gonna to start to see what type of team this really gonna be. And to be honest, I don't think this is gonna be the same type of team that we had in the past. It's gonna be a different look. This is gonna be a different feel, it's gonna be a different vibe. We'll know next week once it starts. Hell, maybe it starts today. I don't know. We will just see. If you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up on Rumble. If you haven't had, if you don't have Rumble, download the app. Follow me on First and Frame Rates. Hit the join button so you can watch the show. Also, I'm still on YouTube uh, and um, I'm also on Spotify and Apple. You know, you can uh, follow me on X at VF Baller. Website's firstandframerates.com. If you want to support the show, Cash App and PayPal links are below. And um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. 
You guys enjoy your weekend. Y'all take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.